Hello everyone, today I'm making a video on the Nintendo Switch dock. This here's the dock. If you have a Nintendo Switch, one of these bad boys. This Nintendo Switch right here, I love it because it's a portable gaming device. I can just take it, go upstairs and play, go around and play. Uh, when my fiance is shopping or something, I can go play with it. What I want to talk about today is the dock because we together love taking it with us on trips. And when you book, in, when you go into a hotel room, normally you don't use a TV, right? So what we've discovered was if we bring our Nintendo Switch and connect it to the TV, and unfortunately we can't just connect it directly to the TV, you need to use one of these docks. And these docks are big. This is essentially actual size. So we have to bring the Switch, the dock, and the cables go along with it. Cables can be packed small, but this dock, it's like a brick, it's like a huge brick. And that brick is really, really annoying to pack. If I want to bring this on a trip, I don't want to bring the entire thing. And of course, there's third-party manufacturers and they, they made their own docks. They're small and it's essentially just a USB-C adapter that the switch could connect to and pass USB-A out, HDMI out, and also a power pass through. And what had happened was a lot of the switches that use these docks got bricked. And if you're unfamiliar with the term bricked, Brick means paperweight. So you have this nice fancy switch, right? Let's say it doesn't turn on anymore. It doesn't register any button presses and you can't use it for anything but a paperweight. That is what bricked means. People stop using adapters overall. But over time, people realize that the third-party manufacturers didn't use the original Nintendo dock internals. That's an explanation as to why they got bricked. So the alternative was to buy one of these, one of these. This is the Link style Nintendo Switch dock station case. It is a replacement portable dock, but it does not have any electronics in it. It is essentially just plas a plastic molding for the OEM Nintendo Switch dock. So what you do is you buy this plastic replacement dock case, and then you take that, you combine it with an OEM Nintendo Switch dock, and you can get a very small package that works, won't break your Nintendo Switch that you can take on travel. And today, you and I, us together, we're gonna go on this journey of me trying to install the Nintendo Switch dock OEM comp components into this plastic shell. Let us begin. I will be referencing a video on how to install this. It is a 10 minute video by this user called Roma Amor looks like he has a looks like he has a repair shop for electronics, but I'll link the video. But that is what I'll be using to reference in between these cuts. So let's start with opening this uh, OEM box. Let's cut this. Cut this. Now this is the HDMI cable. We don't need that. Power adapter. We don't need that. And put that aside. This here's the dock. The dock in all its glory. You can see that. This is the size of my hand and the thickness of three fingers. So you know, this is quite big. So together with the switch, having this in your bag, is not quite portable. So this right here is the Link style Nintendo Switch dock replacement case. And when I open up, you'll notice that it's very sparse. So let's move the switch aside, or switch dock aside. So what you have here, is plastic shell, literally just a shell. Look at that. In the package, we have directions, the top and bottom of the shell, and some tools. Looks like we have a tiny, two tiny screwdrivers, some screws, piece of 3M adhesive, and this uh, tweezer thing. All right, we should count the number of screws that we have. So right here, seven. Seven screws, adhesive, two screwdrivers, the tweezers, two parts. All right, so the first step, so it says take the dock, dock. It says remove eight pieces, screws from dock and keep them. Taking out Y screws with Y type screwdriver. Oh, oh wait, there are eight screws in here. One of them was stuck to the magnetic low screwdrivers. So I have a Phillips head screwdriver, which is like the cross. There's a Y one, which looks like uh, the inside of a pie chart. So the Y screwdriver, the Y type screw is blue and the regular Phillips head is a black one. Looks like they took apart the dock. This is the dock opened up. This is the back flap. These are Y type screws. The Y one is the blue one. So we're gonna take this. Okay. So this is where the white background comes in handy because I won't lose these black screws. You can tell, uh, it's not in the shot. 
my table is black or dark brown as Ikea calls it. Dark brown and I don't want to lose these screws. One of the worst things about taking something apart and putting it back together is if you lose things or <laughs> if you have extra screws when you put it back together, it is a, a situation warranting worry and I don't want to break this. But I have watched, I've watched the, install, the assembly video before and it looked like the user had extra screws. Oh, that was definitely a longer screw. So I try to organize the any kind of screws by their size. And that one's a longer one, so it looks like there are four small ones and four long ones. Let's keep them separate so we can put them back in the right order. And just because there may be extra screws when I take apart the original Nintendo Switch dock, I may want to put it back in the original one in case I want to sell it or something. So I don't want to just throw them all out. You always got to think long term about any possibilities. Okay, maybe if I just unscrew the next one, it'll come out. So it's one, two, three, four short ones, one, two, three, four long ones. This one needs a little bit more. Okay, well that came off. I mean, this is just attached, it's just a plastic clip on a circular, a cylindrical piece of plastic, so that's fine. In the video, the guy just, it just came out. It just like literally fell out. Oh, okay, well. When I put it upside down, it came out pretty quickly. Yeah, let's move on. So we have the four long screws, four short screws. We take this right here, right here we take that. Just uh, take it off, ta-da! So now, we have the electrical components right here. This, this is where all the goodies are. This is what needs to get transferred over to this thing, or actually, to this thing. As you can see, it's like the same shape. So all this extra right here, all this is excess, but mainly there's a mechanism in here allow you to place and remove the dock with one hand. So, so far we've taken it apart and let's see what the next steps are. So now at this point, there are more screws. Directions say that there are 11 screws from the screws on the dock and there are three bolts underneath the uh, computer component. So this will require the the black one, the gray one. All right, so I took out two screws here. So it looks like, according to the video, the next step is to remove this ribbon cable. So right here, we flipped up the little uh, latch and we're gonna remove the ribbon cable. And that, we use these plastic tweezers. Right here, these plastic tweezers, that tweezer, and then we just pull that out carefully. Oh, there it is. There it is. We have, we don't have lift off, but we have removal. We're flipping it over now. Ooh, that was scary. It's, <laughs> it's held together just by plastic. So now I flip this over, there is a cable connecting. Okay, I see that cable. I do not know how, if, oh, there it is. We have to do a little bit of a rotation, just rotate a little bit, and then we're back in business. He just pulled it out with his hand, so that is what I'll do. All right, we have removed the electrical components of the Nintendo Switch dock. Very valuable. The talk is really expensive. The talk is like 80 or 90 bucks. But for those who value the convenience and are willing to spend that money, this is very important to keep safe when you do that. So let's put this aside. Oh, so I started removing these two screws. 
There's one more screw here to kind of separate that. That is a Phillips head screw. So let's uh, stick that in there. Start with my left hand. Magnetic, great. I love it when screws are metal or the kind of metal that gets, the metal that works with magnets. That, so that the screwdriver can remove it. So I have that taken off. There are a few more screws deep in here. I believe I will have to take them out. There's like one, two, three more screws, Phillips head screws inside the dock. So I'll just stick it down there. Yeah, I'm using the Phillips head. It does not look like these are magnetic. But I'm trying to go through these exercises, trying to learn and kind of share up along the journey of learning to show that, to kind of show people that electronics are not that scary. And if you learn these little skills, you can save a lot of money and time because either you have an issue with a Nintendo Switch dock. I think the most common place people go is the Geek Squad at Best Buy or something like that. And it may be really expensive to have them fix it. But if you have a little patience and a little elbow grease, you can figure out how to do it yourself. And, and sometimes you may mess up along the way, but you will learn and knowledge is power. Let's see. Okay, the three screws came out. Perfect. Okay, there are a lot more, <laughs> a lot more screws in here. They're like all buried in there. I will fast forward through the unscrewing process. Alright, so this came off. This is the middle plate, I guess. The middle plate. It's just plastic. You know, after you remove all the screws and the electrical components, it's just plastic. Right, we have two pieces of just plastic that we have removed. So I'm gonna put that aside. We have this little spring mechanism. I think this spring mechanism right here, I think it's gonna get transferred to the new shell, the dock shell. It looks like there's an LED here. Um, that's a USB-C cable and this is the ribbon cable. Okay, well that just came off. Hopefully that was the correct thing to do. Hope so. So, so there's an LED here, comes out, okay. Is that how LEDs work? It's just like this. I really don't know if you can see that. Oh, let's get in there. Get on the small camera. Yeah, LED. It's just a cable and a circuit board. I don't know if these are the right terms. I am not a specialist in this by any means. So right now I have the LED, I'm gonna put it to the side. All right, I'm back. I had a little bit issue with my chihuahua. Looks like the next step is to unscrew right here. There's four screws here, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. To remove those, to pull out this, this is part of the meat of the dock. So let's make sure we get that out. Okay, it looks like they're Phillips head screws. Just uh, take that apart. Definitely a lot of screws hanging around. But I'm just glad that this piece of tech is bigger. And Nintendo Switch and Joy-Cons are really tiny and portable. That's great for the end user. But in terms of kind of self-repair, it is a headache. It is probably just as bad, maybe worse than cell phones. But tiny components are really hard to work with. Because you gotta be careful not to like break them. You know, breaking things is bad. Really bad. All right. Okay, the spring came off and the screws came off. So, all right, so the funny thing is, if I watched the video a little bit further before I start unscrewing things, he said, I would advise you to hold it because there's a spring inside. Well, I didn't hold it. Looks like it just goes right here. So I think I'm good. So. So a good thing is he said that you want to hold on to the plastic just so the springs don't fly and disappear into your house. Right now right here, we got and the last piece of the meat that we need. This is just more plastic. I can go, I'm gonna put it over here. Yeah, we have this little thing, kind of keep it together. 
Let's see what the next step is. This is definitely rotate 180 degrees. It's not right. Got to be careful with this. You know, I, I don't know how this is supposed to go. All right, so at this point, I'm trying to get this uh, back onto the springs. And one side has a circle thing. It's a little bit harder to guide into. The other side has little cones, which are a little bit more forgiving. Try to guide this into place. All right, got a spring mechanism. We're good. I'm gonna hold this. The next step involves using the dock replacement top. So let's, uh, let's move this out of the way. Like a graveyard of like Nintendo Switch dock parts. This is what we all came here for, installing uh, this board and this thing all into that. Oh, also the LED, LED. So let's uh, get that in there. He just like left the spring thing somewhere else. And I'm just gonna put it like underneath my dock so it doesn't like fly anywhere. So he took this piece where it does like that. And he got the LED guided. The cables go up top and the little spiky things go downward. So spiky things that way. And the cable up top. Maybe I'll use the tweezers to kind of like guide it into place. It's probably smart. Okay, it's in place now. It's like in there. In there. All right, so we said to take this right here, guide the cable down this way. Use a little bit of an adhesive. There's two pieces. I want to just stick that down. Just so the cables don't kind of run all over the place. So I'm just gonna take this adhesive off. God, these are such tiny pieces. So I'm gonna use the little tweezers to kind of place it. It's really professional work right here. Just kind of squeeze it in there. Pushing it in. You know what? It'll do the job. So far, we have the little LED attached in here. We still have the board. I think we have the board and the USB C kind of uh, spring mechanism. And just gotta get all that back into here, and then we'll be done. So, this is the next step. We gotta grab this bad boy right here, the USB C thing. We gotta squeeze in here. There is a little slot up here. So there's a slot right here. You can see that. That's going to line up with the slot on uh, the slot right here. There's a slot right here. So just got to make sure it lines up. So just uh, All right, so we guided it in there. I guided it through the back, but I used the front fingers to kind of make sure it goes into place. Springs work. So next up is to take the provided screws. Uh, it's over here, but these little silver screws, Phillips head screws, yeah. And we're going to screw this USB-C mechanism into the replacement Nintendo Switch dock. This will be the gray screwdriver. And with the plastic components like this, try not to screw it too tightly because you can strip the threads. And the threads are the receiving end of a screw. So it's that spiral thing. And if you screw it too much, your, the force of your hand can push the screw past those threads and essentially disintegrate them removing any possibility of the screws actually connecting the two plastic pieces together. So just screw it enough for it to stay and kind of leave it at that. There are a few instances of me watching other YouTubers that have stripped the screws on their small Nintendo Switch accessories by screwing it too much. If you can see the, if you can see the, the screw right here, it's, 
it's not that long so you can't really screw it that much before it kind of reaches the end all right so the mechanism works but it's not as perfect as the regular dock but it'll do the job it doesn't feel that quite secure so i'm going to check that all the screws are all the way in There we go. So now we have the USB-C like spring mechanism into the replacement dock. We're on our way. All right, so now we're gonna take the, the chip itself, this thing, that this is gonna go into the dock. So it did, so that, this key right here is for the LED, it goes there. The other cable goes into here. So the first thing he does is he takes the blue side, so this thing flips up, you see, flips up, take that, slide it in, put it down, now it's secured. <laughs> so this one's a little bit more obvious. The LED has two pins, on one side it has a plastic nub and the other side has a pin holes. So you just kind of get it in, still push it in there, snap, that's secure. We're getting close, getting real close to finishing this. All right, so we have four more screws, provide these screws right here. And we need to take this screw at the corner. So one, two, so one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, four. Screw those all in and we should be able to close this. You know, the other guy also mentioned to not have this ribbon cable underneath the mechanism because it will interfere with the mechanism and it won't you know, snap correctly. So you want to take the screws Oh crap, it just fell into the thing Alright, let's not do that again. <laughs> it just fell in there. I wish these were magnetic, but Let's just be careful Let's just be careful with it. All right. Just uh, screw that in there. Let's make sure that's secure. Three, and the last screw, four. All secure. So he just uh, folded this to the last step. We have this, we have this plastic. You fold this outside from underneath the board so it doesn't interfere with the spring mechanism. And then you just kind of snap this in place. It's held by plastic little tabs so you don't need any screws. Oh crap. Let's try that again. All right, so looks like we got HDMI, USB-A, USB-C. We got USB-A, USB-A. All right, so this is the, the nice USB-A for the, for the back. This is what you use for, I use for the Ethernet adapter. You got the little spring mechanism. So that's it. I will, this is the duck. Let me get into the light. Yeah, this is the duck. So let me, let me show you a comparison side by side with the original dock. Be right back. They have the Link style Nintendo Switch dock right here. And this is how it stands. And we have the OEM one. You can compare the size. This is like, there's like a deck of cards with a little nub. And this is a big boy. This is like a tablet on its own. So let's show you comparison. Look at that, look at that. Look at that intense so what would you rather have with you when you're traveling this or this my choice is gonna be this all right so that's the end of the video I will be including a review after some usage maybe a week or two perhaps I'll include it with this video you'll see it or I'll include it as a separate video post maybe a week or two of usage but I'm gonna grab the camera run over there and show you that it works it actually works 
The LED works, albeit a little bit dim, but it works, so at least I can tell from far away. And uh, the HDMI works. I mean, just uh, show it on TV. So this is the game, we got uh, Zelda Breath of the Wild. We're just gonna throw it onto the dock, center it. The LED comes on, right there. And there it is. Proof that it functions properly. Let's grab our controller. I'm gonna press A on the controller. There we go. Look at that. Proof that it works. Definitely much smaller than the OEM dock. You can tell side by side. Got the OEM dock over here. And it's like way smaller. Look at that. You can barely even notice that it's there. Link says it's worth it. Trust Link. He's the man. So yes, it does work. We have assembled this. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it allows you it gives you some insight as to one, how to kind of fix your own electronics or assemble your own electronics without asking, needing the help of someone else to show you that's not very daunting. Obviously, I am not a pro at this. I ended up using another video as a guide. I'm just kind of like showing you my thought process so that it's more understandable for the regular person. That is not an expert in technology. I love technology, but I'm not an expert in it. I'm just a lover of learning. So that is the link style. That's just a piece of paper. There's a link style portable replacement dock and I have showed you with my little humble setup how to turn this into a smaller one. And thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you like this kind of content. Let me know in the comments if you're learning because I'm trying to provide a different, uh, different perspective in terms of educational content on YouTube and hopefully y'all come back again because I'll be doing a lot of these kind of like tech videos just themed in electronics because I love it and I love sharing it with you all. Thank you and see y'all later. Peace.